Hey guys. Um, so tonight I came home from work and Corey was fixing a wiring issue on my truck. 10 o'clock at night. Let's add that. <laughs> He's fixing the wiring issue, which is no big deal. And I'm sitting there looking at my truck, wondering how I'm going to ask him. <laughs> and I said, Do you think maybe we should? like re-sand the truck, sand it back down to bare metal and redo it. And he was asking why, but there's a couple things that he doesn't like and he's always saying, if we could go back, I'd do this different. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do things different. I don't know, I just like the really Tiffany blue color. And now that the, I don't know, maybe it's the oil that we put on it, I don't know, but it has really changed it to more of a green color. I'm not a big fan of green. I really like the Tiffany blue, so we're going to try things a little different this time. We're going to sand it all back down and then repaint it and re-rest it, I guess. So the first time was awful. I'm sure the second time isn't going to be any better, but here goes nothing. <laughs> what she's not telling you is Myrtle Beach Truck Week is in a week. Yeah. We're supposed to be prepping. That's what we're doing tonight is prepping this truck to get ready to load it on a trailer next week. And she informs me at 10 o'clock at night that she wants to sand the truck down before Myrtle Beach Truck Week. But if it don't get done, we'll take my truck or the Jeep, but also this truck will be in the PRI show in Indianapolis. So we want to be top notch. Like she was saying, there are a few things that I wish I could change. I didn't know it was gonna be tonight that we were changing it, so. So to fill you guys in on this paint on this truck, like yeah, it is real patina, but this truck started off being black, and we built the bed 100%. We wasn't doing YouTube at the time, so we don't have no build videos of this truck. But Hannah, when we were building this, she was trying to find things to do. And I was like, if you want to grind the whole truck down to bare metal, go for it. So this truck is bare metal. Everything you see that is brown is bare metal. This is real rust. So. What the cool part for you guys, you guys actually get to see the process of this. I, I can't even believe that I'm saying this because <laughs> I don't know. So this truck has to be ground down to bare shiny metal. And then once it's bare shiny metal, we take a turquoise paint and we spray the turquoise on it. And then we have a rust mix solution we came up with, which is 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide, two ounces of white vinegar, and a tablespoon of salt. And that will literally rust this truck in minutes, or not seconds. You guys will see we'll that. see that. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> it has to happen quick, so. <laughs> I plan on taking this. Oh, gosh. Are you sure you want to do this? No. I'm kind of scared <laughs> we... of this thing anyway. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I'm not sure this is the best idea we've well, had. <laughs> it's your truck. Go for it. I don't know. I don't know. Just start on the door, and then we got to fix it. Hey, that's what that's what I do sometimes. Like, I hesitate on stuff, but if you just do it, then you got to fix it. <laughs> well, yeah, but this is all you. Uh, there's the old one. Well, apparently you can uh, let them see you. Do Sorry. Yeah, it probably hates you.
that's gonna have to be blue now. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. Welcome back, cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright, Russ Mix. Secret ingredient. 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide. Two ounces of vinegar. Here we and a, are. And a half tablespoon of salt. This is our rest mix. So what we're gonna be doing, you get just dollar store hydrogen peroxide. We're gonna use 16 ounces. So we've got a little spray bottle, it has ounces measured out on the side of it. So we're gonna fill this up to 16 ounces. Here we go, see how I spill it. We'll say, all right, 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide. And then we're gonna do two ounces of white vinegar, or two ounces of vinegar. So we take this. So now we're just gonna go up to the 18 ounce mark on our spray bottle. So 18 ounces. And then the next step is a half tablespoon of salt. Usually I kind of just wing it but uh, I usually just do it. Well, I wing it and just use a tablespoon of salt. <laughs> More salt, the better. <laughs> so, tablespoon of salt. Maybe that's why it's resting real yeah. quick. You just gotta get oh. it in there. <laughs> well, Very good. This is why you do a tablespoon of salt because you waste half of it. Yeah. So, there's that and... <laughs> Okay. One more. Okay, that's it. So then, that's our rust mix. And it smells terrible. It smells great. I hate the smell of vinegar. Ugh. Yeah. It, Reminds me of when my stepmom used to clean the coffee machine at the house, and it was horrible. Like it would literally smell the whole house up, make me want to throw up. I'm gonna smell good, and I got it all in my hand. Oh my god. All right. So mix it up good, cause you want the salt to dissolve. Come on. For some reason that's leaking a little bit, so I'm gonna put this around. But uh, <laughs> so that's that. That's our rest mix. And now what we're gonna be doing for this truck is we got the fenders primed where the bondo work was, and now we're going to spray the truck turquoise everywhere we want turquoise. And uh, technically, if you're gonna paint a truck, you want to prime the surface and then paint it. But in order for us to get the real patina look without painting it to make it look like thick, like real patina. This is straight up real deal. When we had this truck done the first time, it was pretty dead close to real patina. So we're gonna paint everything you see, bare metal, everywhere we want, turquoise, and then um, we'll spray our rust mix on, and what that'll allow is the rust will actually bleed through the turquoise to give it that real patina look. And this will rust this truck and Two seconds, you'll start, okay, five seconds, you'll start seeing a, a change in color. So that's, that's next. Okay. I'm ready.
trigger it, you know, like you said, you can like feather it and it, so the rest will bleed through. So let's just get on the same page with the top and the fenders. Okay, well, we'll do the top. Okay. <laughs> so all this leaf works. Um, um, yeah, but you can go heavy here, but not as heavy there. <laughs> I'm not as heavy there. <laughs> yeah, because we have to have grass coming through. I like this grass to come through. So wires are heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> you can go heavy here because we're going to make that mess. Yeah. Good, more. More, because we've got to make the top of the fingers match. Okay. Right there. Around the white heavy or else? White. That? Yeah, that's good. Heavy here. Heavy here because we're going to match it to that piece. Right there can be heavy. Real heavy. Okay. Okay. Keep telling. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. And then like... Kind of blend it there. Yeah. Blend it down onto this. Yeah, sure. But I mean, like this would have been rough because... The sun. Well, the salt and the crap that flies up on there would have rusted that out like it clearly did. So, this needs to be rusty. The blue shows so through. So, let this start to be rust. Yeah, but you can... I mean, the blue would have not... It would have been under here. So put blue there. Put blue under here. Cheap. And then the way it keeps it on. And then feather the blue. Feather here. Feather there. Feather there. Feather there. Feather there. And the corner. Yeah, and the heavier here. Feather. There it is. Okay. Alright. There it is. Kind of up there a little bit more. Yeah, maybe it's not the Alright. Very good. Now we're going to do that. Because that can get the door. Um, so this, our little honey would have his arm out all the time. So we need Some of this needs to be rough. But definitely. Huh? You get the bolts out. I know. I told you that a long ago. This needs to be blue. Oh, no, no. You get your part. I'm nervous.
What do I feel like? Somebody's watching me. <laughs> Judging. The hardest part is trying to figure out where the sun would have baked it originally, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going off. So here's my walkthrough so far of what we have. I mean, the driver's side is not totally done yet. I think the passenger side is done for the most part with the blue paint. So... That's all that's going to be blue, which is way more than last time. I mean, way more. So we'll see how that turns out with the rust coming through. I don't know. I mean, we're going to try to pull off the fenders this time. We'll just see how it goes. I mean, I'm nervous as can be. Corey's over here, cool as a cucumber. He, <laughs> he has nothing to worry about, I guess. I don't know. I do. He right. just... He went crazy with the blue last time, or this time. Last time he was, like, not wanting to put any blue on the truck. And now I'm like, whoa, 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 okay. All right, that's good. And now it's like I said, well, you might as well just paint the whole thing blue. <laughs> well, that's all you want. I mean, yes and no. It's, but I just love, like... That right there. Yeah, but wait till we get the the rust mix on it. Really oh yeah, I can't wait. It'll really bring it to life. <laughs> then we're gonna put our chicken seasoning on it. Mm-hmm. That's next. Yep, we gotta add our coffee grounds to the chicken seasoning though. So real quick, while you guys are on there. I'm with the O'Reilly's, and this is, um, um, <laughs> that get in your eyes? Yeah, Dust. the fan's blowing uh, on me. Yeah. All right, so anyways, uh, I went to O'Reilly's, got this fine dust. This is what, um, for when they grind the rotors down and stuff. I got that, and then I found me a little seasoning bottle and put all the shavings in it. So now what we'll do is we'll take the shavings and we'll sprinkle them on that fender, and then what? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and patina the rest of the truck. We'll go back through and um, kind of fine-tune it, but you can see 
instantly it is turning brown. I let Hannah spray because I get carried away and next thing you know, I got five coats on it. She usually puts like, I don't know, you go over it a couple times? Three. Three times. So I'll show you how fast this stuff works. Spray it up here real quick, I'll show. It. So completely bare metal. Look, already turning. Told you, five seconds, it's already done. So she'll spray the whole truck down with this solution now and it'll rust this truck. Kind of sad, we literally just sanded it down to rust it out again. You're doing good. No, that's... All right, spray your truck down. Instant. You might even, maybe we put the seasoning on here. Seasoning. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. Seasoning. Chicken seasoning. I love the way this front fender Look, that's why we mm -hmm. did not, that's why I didn't want this to be blue because this just looks so awesome. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty cool how this just instant. Before you get to the other fender, let's make sure that side's 100%. Yeah, 100% dry and make sure it's what we want. This time I was actually trying to put more turquoise on it and she was telling me, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I was letting her rip. So, like this had a dent in it right here. This is a, uh, a long dent, so we kind of put blue in it, so it kind of stood, the, it kind of popped the dent out a little bit. It's crazy how fast this stuff works. So here it is, mid-stage. Looks a little crazy on the front fenders yet, but that's all the grinding does, and we're letting that settle. But you can really see the, the patina. So like, it'll kind of mellow out from here yet. But can we just take a moment to check out Hannah's clothing? Now my style is out of this world, okay? So what are you wearing today? These are yard sound special. This is a hand-me-down for my sister. Okay? <laughs> ACDC, who does not love them? I'm back in black sweatpants tonight. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't love a nice pair of muck boots? Oh, uh, yeah. They were waterproof, and now oh. I'm literally ripping out the yeah. seams here. Yeah, need some new ones. <laughs> I know, that's a Christmas idea. Yeah. <laughs> Homie, this thing looks pretty good. I mean, it's... You can always tell like where the old rust is because it'll start foaming, foaming where it was. A little progress on the truck. It's coming along, Hannah spraying it. I'm gonna spray some dust on the other side and um, she'll spray that and we'll be ready to go. Your little fingers wearing out? Yeah, they are. Well, my whole arm's tired from sanding anyway. <laughs> Don't forget your little headlight. Hey. hey. <laughs> are you a Zul? Yeah. People are going to be like, what are they talking about? <laughs> if you guys are wondering, it says 
chicken seasoning. I'll sprinkle a little bit on the door just to, just to blend it into the bed. Just a little bit. You guys can kind of see it on there. Now we'll put the grinding dust on these fenders. Like so. Ah, let her rip, tater chip. <laughs> you want me to do that for a while or are you good? No. We'll get carried away. Yeah. You had one job. You gave me the hardest job that I want. To wrap tires? Yeah. Very difficult. If you want to get that back, yeah, there you go. And then I'll put the stuff on it. Yeah. I got the front for you, too. I'm slacking, huh? So how many coats is this of spray? Lost count? I thought you were doing like three. Yeah, I was. Oh. Check out how cool that is. So the plan is for tonight, we'll let this solution set on this truck. We'll come back tomorrow and... Um, just wipe the dust off of it and then just let it cure till Monday. And then Monday we'll um, semi-gloss clear it. Like I said before, we um, linseed oiled it, but what happens is once this is dry, this is like dust and then you wipe it over on the turquoise and then it turns it more of a green color where the truck now is the color we want. That looks so cool. I'm about to spray your phone. So what are we doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, say it. All right, go again. Tell us what we're doing. All right, so I'm getting what's left over on the ground, dipping it on the door so they can not be a bright, bright blue. And it will kind of soak into the bright blue and stain it overnight. That way it kind of matches the back fenders a little bit more. That's what we're doing, and then we'll take this off in the morning. That thing was work. killer. <laughs> Can't wait to see it in the morning. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, so we've got the truck where we want it with all the patina. 
and all the blue that you could want. Corey last time was like, all right, enough blue. Now he really put a lot of blue. I even told him, I don't want any blue on the roof. And he, he really was spraying away with this blue, okay? So here it is. We've got all of Tina and the blue on here. We're getting ready to clear it. So hoping and praying that the clear sticks to it because, you know, this rest is still kind of fresh. <laughs> so, and we're, we've got the bumper resting right here. We've got the tailgate over there. We just got them back from sandblasting. So we've got the tailgate um, drying. Then I've got to rest it yet. Hopefully those look... Last time they were darker because they are sandblasted, not, um, what do you call that, sanded down. Mm -hmm. So, they were darker, but it's all right. I guess we'll just get what we get. <laughs> I mean, the fenders look better, so that's all that matters. That looks good. We're doing it. Oh. I'm trying to get a good video over here. We need a bigger garage. Yes. <laughs> So we're waiting for the truck to totally dry and we I think <laughs> we've got um, the front bumper here that we need to clear and then the tailgate that we're going to clear. I think it turned out pretty good. The back is just all rust. <laughs> that, need, that needs to dry a little bit, but yeah, I like it.
switch.